Oh, did you see that? Goodness. Right by my fly. Nice fish too. Try see that? He throws again. You've got him. He'll eat it. He's eating PMDs. Not like a no see him style? No. Okay. There he ate again, just barely under the surface. I'm getting greasy here. I'm gonna see if I can find a little lightly weighted PMD nymph or something. Boom. He's asking for 6X. He's not gonna land a single fish on 6X here. Yeah, 6X probably get your flies down though. You know? I don't know. I'm using 7X. Okay. 7X. So a lot of people ask me like, Cheech, how do you cast so good in the wind? And what you gotta do first of all is you get some of old mother earth and throw it up. It's not gonna go with the wind because it's dirt. There's a bunch of rocks in there, but I can tell the wind's blowing this way. So what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna pay attention to the wind. The wind started to pick up, so we'll see. Gosh, dang it. Just gonna go to the river. Boom, rip fish. That's how I do it. It's taken me a long time to get to this point, but you know, gotta give 110% every day. You get out there and you just enjoy the sunshine. It's good to be out. Give 110% every day. I was letting it drag behind me as I walked up river and I had a fish on. If there's a day that you feel like you shouldn't give 110%. Uh, Look like that young C-3PO trying to walk through this water. You still get out there, you can still give like 105. Those freaking birds keep flying over, putting shadows on my hole. Don't appreciate it. Anything over 100 is good, but like 110 is the best, but 105 will do. I don't know. Just had so, a fish come up. Cheech interrupted my little spiel. Thank you. We are uh, one of those times where anything Drakes. happens. Still, it, do you hear, are you hearing this? This is hostile work environment, honestly. We're thinking we might find some green drakes, which would be epic. This is kind of a good stretch. The swallows are going nuts for something. I'm hoping drakes. Cheech has got a little nine foot five weight. Little. It's a Winston Air too. Good for drake fishing. I'm gonna stick with uh, an alternate, which is gonna be an ESN with uh, maybe Euro Nymph or Jig Streamer, who knows. But yeah, that's the plan today. Big bugs. Yep. <laughs> Wait, where'd he go? Long He's, distance release. You released him, huh? Drake, dry fly eater. At least they're eating drakes. Or at least that one. I guess they like a hare's ear swung. <laughs> That's one way to catch him, I guess. <laughs> Dropper? Yeah. Good. I was letting it drag behind me as I walked up river and I go to recast and I had a fish on. That's called strategy, AKA streamer time. giant fish on a dry. Woo! Come on. There he goes. 
nice little brown on a jig streamer. Just threw in behind a rock, but it was still in pretty fast water. And there he goes. Just a little sculpin colored. We have a tutorial for this. Can't remember what I called it. I just needs to get down far enough. He took it right on the dead drift kind of after I moved it. Easy peasy. I think I caught one. Woo. Well, he's not huge, but here I am with my net on the wrong side again. I got him. <laughs> oh, nice. He ate the sculpinish jig streamer. I'm doing is covering a lot of shallower water so I've been looking for little depressions and drop-offs and that's where I've caught these last couple maybe three feet deep, at, deep average and then I look for four or five feet deep and the fish had just been holding in that kind of relative deeper water and it's a little slower and that's where he was must be enjoying sculpins today so Brig and I are trying to make a movie over here and for some reason, Cheech has just secluded himself on this deserted island. He's taking his clothes off, it looks like. But anyway, we're just going to stay here and watch the swallows feed and catch some fish. Cheech is over on an island. Brig was telling me to talk. What? Oh, I don't know what he's saying. He's probably saying, hey, Cheech, I'm real short. Look at me. No, what I'm doing is I went to go put a dry dropper rig on and it was all jacked. So I had to put a whole new leader on, tie a bunch of knots. Now I'm back in the saddle. Come here, Winston. I don't know if Briggs ready for this. Gosh, dang it, I'm really not that mad. I'm just doing theatrics. He's gonna ask me what I tied on. I'm not gonna tell him. The answer is sow bug. Some weird, funky currents. I think this is gonna be a good bug though as soon as I get to some fresh water. It hasn't been downtrodden. This is the butthead fly. If you haven't tried this one, it's awesome. Should work as a drake. It's got a CDC underwing, so it floats pretty high when it's dressed. Finally got one to eat. We'll get him in the net. Just to get him a little safer release. Nice buttery little rainbow. Oh, that was a brig sized fish. Maybe even big for Brig. Poor kid, come to a river like this, you gotta throw a six weight to be able to land anything. Anyway, see if we can do that again. Trying to take a few steps and these little rainbows won't leave me alone. Oh man, I love these little wild rainbows. Nice and colored up. Can you see Brig? Oh! So if you can imagine what a nicely colored little rainbow looks like, that's what that was. Oh, did you see that? Goodness! Right by my fly. Nice fish too. That was a big one. His head just went right next to him. Dang. I gotta change flies, I think. Try see that? He throws again. You've got him. He'll eat it. That's yeah, it. that's it. He's eating PMDs. Okay. I got a little something for him. Seems that line is super smooth, short, medium, long, doesn't matter. This one? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's it's pretty awesome just all around. Truly is a universal taper. <laughs> 
Not like an Elysium style? No. Okay. Oh, that's money right there. The freak. There he ate again, just barely under the surface. I'm getting greasy here. I'm gonna see if I can find a little lightly weighted PMD nymph or something. All right, I also kind of want to make a longer drift with this, so I have some Oros, the little one. I want to put it about that far up from my fly. White color just kind of looks like a bubble. Boom. Nice fish, nice fish. So what you're telling me is it pays off it pays to change your flies. Yeah, so I always tell people when they come in the shop, I say, people, the way to become a better fly fisherman is get good and fast at changing knots. This is probably the 10th fly that I've tried here today. About as simple as that, just a single fly under an indicator. And probably not even the greatest drift of all time, but nice little brownie. How about that? <laughs> I don't know how long it took Cheech to catch that fish. It took me like 10 casts. I'm fly fishing, okay? <laughs> I don't know what that's called. This is called a Prince Nymph Jig Streamer. Skinny little guy. A lot of effort in that guy. So yes, we sometimes collectively know what we're doing. Two half wits make a full dim wit. Feel. Tell you what. This is what happens when you tie on a heavier Euro nymph under an indicator. <laughs> Another nice little brownie. So that small size Oros will float a four millimeter tungsten bead, no problem. Cool little indicators. I'm actually gonna go a little bit deeper. <laughs> it's a battle. Head to head competition. Yeah, I eat it. Kind of feel like it's better indicator water. Yep. How's that streamer working for you now? Boy. See that? I don't even have to touch the fish. They know. Coming in behind you. All right, Brig. You want to see me catch a fish out of this hole right here? Brig said, yeah, but you can't hear me. Yeah, we know, Brig. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Brig said he saw a flash, so I decided I would set the. I only set because you told me to. So I'm fishing like a gray version of a Duracell with like lime green thread. Oh, yeah. There's a better. F oh, that was pink. Why'd you lose it? I cannot hold a fish on this hook. Well, that's why, because I bent it out. That was probably fish of the day right there. Fishing a five weight when normally I'd be fishing a three weight Euro rod with this fly. Still no excuse though. Maybe I'm horsing them a little much. 
I have tired of the jig streamer. I was just catching too many fish, honestly. But it's dry fly time. So I'm going with the four weight Winston Air 2. One of the best dry fly rods on the planet. And since the fish are not coming up consistently to the drakes or PMDs, I did what's natural, and that is tie on a bionic ant with a little dropper. But there's some fish rising up in this little hole, so let's see what happens. Whoa, that that's was a, a nice good fit. fish. That was a good fish. The uh, bionic ant garnered a little bit of attention, but I'm gonna go with the missing link green drake. Yeah, because missing links catch fish, and the fish here are eating drakes. <laughs> oh! Man, these fish been making me swear. Time, see what happens. There you go. Oh, my uh, trusty cameraman, I trust, got that one on camera. They're getting aggressive up here in this flat, so see if we can get one more. Farmed him. Farmed him. Here's another one. Didn't farm him. <laughs> I need to settle down. Oh man. That sucker was in like four inches of water. 